Hi, in this video, we will talk about preemptive authentication in RestAssure. So what do you mean by preemptive uh, pre authentication in RestAssure? So preemptive authentication, okay? Preemptive authentication is a method where the client sends authentication, it sends authentication credentials with every request, with every request without waiting for the server to challenge it. So challenge means before asking only it will it will send. Okay. So in the context of basic authentication, so preemptive also comes under the basic authentication. Okay. So in our previous video, we already discussed about basic authentication, right? There we discussed preemptive um, and non-preemptive also. Okay, please watch that video also for a better understanding. So in the context of basic authentication, preemptive authentication means, so in the context of basic authentication, the preemptive authentication means that the client includes the necessary credentials. The necessary credentials in the request header in the request header from the very beginning without asking only okay without uh, beginning without being without being prompted by the server okay so this is the simple information about preemptive as this is also comes under the basic authentication. So if you want to learn basic authentication, please watch previous video for better understanding. So it is very similar to basic authentication, very small changes there in the code. So that we will see one example with an example. Okay. Go to Eclipse. So I created preemptive authentication in rest assured. So I created one method called preemptive authentication. So both the ways we will see V1 and V2 for this. The same example we'll see uh, in our previous video in the basic authentication also we took the same. So rest assured that base URI is equals to the same URL which we used in our previous video. Okay. This is the one. So request specification. So request specification, request spec is equals to rest assured dot given. Okay, rest assured dot given. And here what we will do? So request spec dot authorization dot pre previously we used basic. Okay. But here also we need to use basic. Before that, we need to mention one more method, preemptive. Preemptive dot, now basic. That's it, that is the only difference. So postman and password. Okay, that's it. Now response. So response, response is equals to response dot get. Sorry, request spec dot get. Okay. After that, I will try to get some information. Same. What it happens in the basic authentication, what happens? Same thing it happens here also. Okay. When you send that information, you'll get authenticated. That's it. I need to verify this authenticated. Okay. This is a JSON. I want to pass this JSON. So for that, what I'll do? I'll use JSON path. Okay, JSON path equals to so response dot JSON path. Once you get the response JSON path, you'll get the string authenticated is equals to JSON path dot get string of what is that authenticated? I want to get that information, that key, and then assert dot assert equals so response dot status get status that status code 
I'm expecting 200 and asserted dot assert equals the authenticated sorry so authenticated what is the authenticated value that is true okay the authenticated value i'm i'm expecting true that is true right here i'm getting the true only okay so then we'll try to run this so it should work perfectly so working perfect this is the only thing you need to remember when it is preemptive so auth dot preemptive dot basic when you talk about the basic authentication this is only auth dot basic here auth dot preemptive dot basic now the, that is the only difference so let me comment this and we'll see the way to also so rest assured dot given so given dot authentication dot preemptive dot basic so here i need to provide postman and then password and when perform the get operation what does it get we need to provide this url so and then what i need to verify status code is 200 and the same way i'll verify body in the body authenticated that is small a authenticated equal to what true for that i'll import matchers matchers dot equal to true that's it right rest assured dot given authentication preemptive basic and when you give, get this info when you perform get operation the status code should be 200 and body equal to true so when i run again this you see that perfectly working fine okay so this is how you can perform preemptive authentication the difference between basic and preemptive is you need to uh, give one more extra method after authentication instead of directly basic you can provide preemptive okay so this is all about preemptive authentication in rest assured so that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel for interesting updates thank you